guys, it's Edna over BHA here bringing you a new video. So I've got several videos in the works, uh, so stay tuned uh, over the next few weeks and you should see uh, quite a bit of new content coming out. But I thought I'd go ahead and add another video to our Docker series. Uh, this is how to install a Kodi server, or I should say a headless Kodi server in Docker. Uh, so for starters, here's the uh, page where I got most of my information on installing the uh, Docker uh, version of Kodi or Kodi server. It's got uh, everything that you will probably need to know uh, to get this installed and set up. I don't personally use Kodi all that much. Uh, I'm more of a Plex guy, but I know that there are a lot of people that do like Kodi, and it certainly has uh, quite a bit of benefits. So uh, I wanted to put this video together. I uh, thought it might be helpful for some of you guys. So let's do a quick run through of everything we're gonna cover in this video. Uh, for starters, we need to verify our uh, ID for our user in our group. Uh, once we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and create a config directory for uh, Kodi. After that is created, then we are ready to install Kodi in a Docker container. Once uh, Cody is up and running in the Docker container, then we'll go ahead and get logged in and kind of show you what that looks like. And then of course, lastly, we're going to just add the Cody component into Home Assistant to show you how you'll be able to use Home Assistant to uh, control it and manage the media player as well. So let's get started. we need to verify our ID for our user and our group. Uh, you do this at the command line by just typing in ID. Uh, you can see it listed there. Uh, looks like my user and my ID are both 1000. Uh, once you have that information saved somewhere, uh, you can go ahead and move on to the next step. All right, so we need to create a Kodi config directory um, that we will use uh, to point to in our uh, Docker install. So of course we do this by doing the mkdir Kodi. Uh, and I just put mine in my home directory, so the full path for mine will be slash home slash Adrian slash Kodi. Uh, once you have that directory created, we're gonna move on to the next step. All right, so now that we have our directory created and we have our ID information that we needed for our user in our group, we are ready to install Kodi in a Docker container using Docker Compose. So I'm gonna edit my Docker Compose.yaml file. So we'll do a sudo vi docker-compose.yaml. Find us an open spot down here at the bottom. I'm gonna call mine Kodi. And of course, give it a container name of Kodi as well. Again, you can call yours whatever you want. Uh, for the image, this will be Linux server slash Kodi dash headless. We'll set the restart to always. And again, I'll have all this in the uh, description below so you can copy and paste it. Uh, now we need to add a couple of environment variables. Of course, uh, some of these will be the ID that we looked up earlier. So uh, PGID equals 1000 and PUID equals 1000. And then of course we also need to set the time zone as well. Uh, so mine will be uh, America slash Chicago. Just set yours to whatever your time zone is. Next is volumes. Now this is the uh, config directory that we created earlier. So uh, mine is slash home slash Adrian slash Cody colon slash config slash dot Cody. And then for ports. So the default ports uh, for Cody, there's three. The first one is 8080. 
Now I'm already using 8080 uh, on my Docker machine, so I needed to forward a different port. So for me, I'm doing 8082 colon 8080. That way uh, any traffic that comes in on 8082 will get uh, masked to 8080 as it hits the uh, Kodi Docker container. The second port is 9090. So we're doing 9090 colon 9090. And then the last port that we need to add is 9777. And this one is specifically for UDP traffic. So we'll do a 9777 colon 9777 slash UDP. And I think we need to have that in parentheses. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in parentheses as well. Once you have all that in there, we can go ahead and save it. And then of course we can uh, update Docker Compose by doing a sudo docker-compose up-d. And of course it'll take it a little bit to uh, download and install. Once that's all done, then we can uh, jump over to Portainer if you want and just take a look at that uh, new Docker container and make sure everything looks okay. We'll click on Cody here. Just kind of scroll down through here. There's all the ports listed. There's our volume. Everything is looking good. Logs shows everything is running properly. I think we are good to go. Let's move on to the next step. All right, so uh, now that we have the Docker container up and running, we can access Kodi in the web interface by going to uh, the IP of my Docker host, which is 10.10.10.8. Uh, and then again, uh, normally it would be uh, port 8080, but because uh, I uh, port forwarded a different port, we're gonna go with 8082. It should come up with a login prompt. Now the default login for this uh, install of Kodi is a username Kodi, password Kodi. That'll get you logged in. And bam, there we are. We are looking at the uh, dashboard uh, home screen for uh, the Kodi server. And as you can see, all the buttons on the side, you can click on them, you know, everything is there. Everything looks good. We now have a functioning headless Kodi server running in Docker. Let's go ahead and move on to the last step. All right, so just as a uh, added bonus here at the end, we're gonna go ahead and add the Kodi media player into Home Assistant and show you that uh, Home Assistant can manage Kodi like any other media player. All right, so we are going to just add our Kodi media player into Home Assistant and show you that uh, it is able to pull in this new Docker server that we just created. So of course we'll do this by editing our configuration.yaml file. Uh, so we'll do a vi configuration.yaml. Scroll down to the section uh, for media players. And uh, we'll just add a few lines down here at the bottom. So of course the platform will be Kodi. The name, you can call it whatever you want. I'm gonna call mine uh, Kodi-server host. This is the IP address of the Docker host that is running uh, Cody, so uh, mine is 10.10.10.8. Once you have that in there, you can go ahead and save it. And then we're just going to jump over to uh, Portainer, and I'm going to, and we're just going to restart Home Assistant. Give that a second to come back up. And then let's jump over to Home Assistant, and I'm just going to go under my Test tab here, and I'm going to edit the uh, Loveless configuration uh, UI. And we're gonna say, we're gonna add a uh, media player card. And of course the uh, media player will be the uh, media underscore player dot Cody underscore server. Go ahead and hit save. And there it is. As you can see, we now have a Cody server media player. Now you'll be able to manage your Kodi server with Home Assistant. That's the end of the video, guys. Look how easy that was. 
Just another system that we can run in a Docker container. Makes things so much easier, I think. I haven't played around with it a whole lot, but uh, I'm sure it's going to work pretty much like any other instance of Kodi. So uh, you should be able to uh, modify it, uh, you know, with custom, uh, with all the customizations and everything, uh, just like any other version of Kodi. Like I said, that's it, guys. Let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. So, of course, for starters, we uh, verified our ID of our user in our group because so we needed those for the uh, Docker install. Uh, next, we created a Kodi config directory. Once that was created, then we were ready to install Kodi in a Docker container. Uh, once that was uh, done, we got logged in to Kodi. And lastly, I just kind of showed you how you could add the Kodi media player component in Home Assistant to manage uh, Kodi from Home Assistant. Pretty easy to set up, uh, not a whole lot to it. Uh, I think it went pretty smoothly. Uh, play around with it, let me know what you think. If you liked the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. And as always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I will see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.